girl's laboratory. Do you think I'll get caught? <laughs> no. No one ever comes in here. Why? Moaning Myrtle. Who? Moaning Myrtle. Who's Moaning Myrtle? I'm Moaning Myrtle. That was a scene from Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And joining our coven right now, please welcome Harry's best friends in the film, Emma Watson and Rupert Grant. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, darling little, little girl, don't you? She cares. Love her. <laughs> Listen, Emma, you had done just a few school plays, and all of a sudden you're in this big blockbuster of, the, of a movie. How are you handling all this? Um, I don't know whether I'm really handling it. That's why I'm with my parents, saying I'm just um, really, really excited, I suppose. Yeah. Do you like the celebrity that you're getting here? Um, or, or do you feel uncomfortable with it? Whoa, celebrity, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How are you getting it? <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Okay, so now, Rupert, I have to tell you, I, I fell madly for Ron Weasley mm -hmm. in, this, in this particular film. And your voice changed from the first film to the second, so all oh, of a yeah. sudden, he's got this voice, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> so I understand that when you auditioned, it was creative. Did you um, do something wacky? Yeah, I did, yeah. Um, well, I, did, well, I, really, I, I was a big fan of these books, and... Um, I really wanted to be in this film because I, I like doing acting and everything. I did like school plays and stuff. So I made this videotape. First, I just had my drama teacher, who was a girl, so it was kind of strange. And then, <laughs> then I did this, um, I made up this rap song of how much I want to be in the film. Oh. And um, then I made this run script up and sent it in. And then next thing I was doing, I. Like, Screen tests and so you went after the part, pretty much. Yeah, didn't you? good yeah. for you. Yeah. Would you think can we ask you to do the rap? I I, I can't remember. <laughs> uh, it worked anyway. I've never heard it. So you you'd actually you'd read you were a big fan of the book. Yeah. You read oh, them all. Yeah. And what about you, Emma? Oh yeah, I was in the middle of the third one when I started auditioning and like finished the fourth by the time I got it. So major fan. Yeah. Well, but you're very very funny in the film. You say you're a lot mm -hmm. like your character. In what way? Um, when I was in the books, I felt I could relate to Ron because. We've both got ginger hair, we're both scared of spiders, we've both got quite a big family, those kind of stuff. Are you scared of spiders? Yeah. Yeah? I am, yeah. <laughs> Emma, how old are you? How old are you now? Um, I'm 12, I'm 13 in April. Uh-huh. Now, how did you feel when you first saw yourself on the screen? Tell us what it felt like. Absolutely, like, the scariest moment of my whole entire life. Why? Mm. I mean, it's not, it doesn't happen every day that you see yourself like 10 feet tall on the screen. It's mm. just like... Did you feel like it was unreal? It was unreal. I think it doesn't matter who you are or how many films you've been in or how good or bad you are. You're always really critical of yourself. Like me, for example, you know, oh my God, my hair looks so bad or oh, I could have yeah. done that better or whatever yeah. it is. Oh, and it starts like... early, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, just... Um, yeah, really like, embarrassing. How about you, honey? How was it for you? Um, yeah, it was scary for me seeing myself that big. Uh, it's hard to get used to because, like, you see yourself in two and a half hours and you've been doing it for, like, ten months. It's, yeah. it's weird, but... But the size of the, of the screen is yeah. what's really intimidating, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, especially with her yeah. mommy's hair. It's mm, big. Yeah. <laughs> she has the biggest curls ever there. So now, how fun was it for the three of you to get back together? Um, you are either very great and phenomenal actors, or you really are friends, because it looks that way all the time. Are you friends, Zach? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. So you hang out outside, out of, well, heck, 10, 11 months of the year, you don't have very much outside. No, I, I think by the end of the weekend, we we'll probably have enough of me. <laughs> <laughs> so who's the most serious and who's, like, the biggest jokester of the three of you? Those two you can't peg. They're just, like... <laughs> So I'm kind of left with the serious one. Like in the film. So let me ask you a serious question, then, Emma. This, this movie takes place at Hogwarts most of the time, mm -hmm. and that's a lot of boys and girls together. Mm -hmm. In making the movie, were there any romances? Oh. <laughs> um. Yes. Yes. Yeah. There oh, were a few. Really? Um, were you one of them with somebody or no? No, no, no. I'm not prefer arranging other people's love lives. That's much easier. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Dan? Did you have a girlfriend? 
Uh, no, uh, no. No. You don't. Do you? No, no, no. you're into playing the, playing the field at this point? Yeah. You know, let me ask you about when, when you when you're, in, you're not in school, obviously, how are you learning on the set? What's happening? Do you do all of your own tutors or what? Um, we all have um, a separate tutor. Oh, you all have your own yeah. separate tutor. So how do you like that? You're not in a classroom. It's not as much yeah. fun, is it? We don't get any homework. No yeah, homework? No, yeah, that's the Wow. Um, Please don't say that. I've got some kids. <laughs> <laughs> really? They're excited, no homework. Um, and as well, it's kind of, I actually, I'm kind of even slightly better. Absolutely cool, because like in a class of like 18, 20, yeah. the attention is like divided up between everybody naturally. That's and right, you get one-on-one. On one. You get one-on-one, on one, so you... So you have all the attention on you. Yeah. In, the, in the films, Hermione is really the one who the boys depend on to get them out of problems. They, you're the smart one, no question about it, and you're the expert with the spell. So, if you could actually cast one, what's the ultimate spell? What's the ultimate spell? Well, um, I'd make myself stick scenes if I can get into rock concerts. <laughs> <laughs> it starts already. Oh my god. You have to have a contact. No, contact. No? No. I like everything. Okay. okay, so we know Daniel, you already signed up to be the Harry for the next film, okay, yeah. Rupert? Am I going to be in the next film? Yeah, we yeah. start next year in February. Excellent. And then after that, you're going to continue to be great British actors? Or not? I hope so. You want, yeah. you want to be, I think, because you went after the part. That's very impressive. Well, I got to tell you, my kids actually dragged me to the first one because I really hadn't read the Harry Potter series. It was so fantastic. I dragged them to the second one. It was so great. They <laughs> loved it, and I loved it. It's just phenomenal. And you're all great actors. Good luck really to all of you. Thanks so much for coming on. I thanks to Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, and Rupert Grint. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets opens nationwide today. Go see it. We'll be right back. <laughs>